Hello. So the reason I've got that straight face on is, uh, you know, the thumbnail, the thumbnail. I don't get any clicks on these videos. Obviously, I'd like more clicks. I had one of my atheist friends come to me and deride me for the fact that I had 3,989 followers. I didn't even know what he was talking about for a second. He's like, so these 3,989 people are misguided? I was like, uh, dude, I have no idea why they're following me. This is the truth. <laughs> I unfollowed him shortly thereafter. Guys, hello, it's Zidey Boy. Now, we're on the Don Valley Trail. We're on our way downtown. The rain stopped, and because it's so gorgeous, because I devote, I devote my life and time to bringing these amazing vignettes of Toronto to you, and my running commentary is no less than the most important questions of our time and any time. Questions of why do we exist? Questions of what is our purpose? if any in life, okay? And it's like, people unlike my stuff, I don't mind that. Hey, at least I got a response. People make fun of me, people deride me. The worst part is, I used to get hundreds and thousands of views, and as my efforts have gone on, bro, or ma'am, or sis, it ain't working out. I'm getting less and less views, and I have less and less time in which to accomplish my objective, which is turn atheists into agnostics. Now, I'll be honest with you. I'm tempted to call this video, Atheism is Stupid Because. Atheism is stupid because it doesn't make any sense based on their own stated position, plural positions. Okay. Theist is someone who believes in God. Monotheist, such as myself, believes in one God, as in monogamy, okay? Monogamy means having one spouse. Believing, God damn helmet, eh? <laughs> okay, I just want to, see the thing is, I'm so concerned that, I, you know, I want you guys to understand what I'm saying, right? So I'm gonna go like this so you can see my lips, right? So if my words are unclear, perhaps like somebody can lip read and get something out of one of these videos. This is how concerned I am for your and mind and let's just say our collective well-being as a species. My dear viewer, I'm listening to Killing Joke right now and uh, you know what, here's the thing. You'll be like, well what kind of band are they? Is it industrial, punk, postmodern rock, slash metal, thrash? That's actually what it is, but you probably, <laughs> you probably wouldn't arrive at that unless you'd been weaned on anthrax and exodus like myself. Not to mention the other two of the big four, Slayer and Metallica. And the big five would be rounded out with Megadeth, but obviously Megadeth are the most understated band of our and perhaps even any time. I'm not even going to go there. Just listen to the latest, listen to a couple of tracks, any two tracks, two tracks from the latest Megadeth album, Dystopia. Dystopia is essentially the whole theme of the life of Killing Joke, the band. They've been around since 1978. The reason that the question, what kind of music are they and are they good or bad music and all this crap, judgmental, normal bullshit, which we all not only have to deal with, but actually are the progenitors of, okay? This is, uh, we're coming up here on, uh, I think it's Bloor Street, man, and actually that's where I need to go. The only problem with the Don Valley Trail, as far as I can tell, apart from lack of signage, which is unfortunately epidemic throughout Toronto, uh, there's no way of getting from the Don onto the goddamn fucking Bloor Viaduct, apart from like scaling ropes and ninja techniques, which ain't gonna happen, and I've done that kind of shit, so um, not with a bike and my laptop, right? I just come from another security interview. I'm looking for a security job, the second time in a row, second time in a row, two out of two interviews, I got a lady who wants to hire me as a sales guy, AKA, Ruff! just don't get your paws all muddy and come trance off the carpet later on, little woofer. Ruff! Okay, so, uh, 
Second time in a row, I meet the company owner. And she wants me to obviously meet her sales director. She wants me to meet her sales director. Okay? And she wants me to teach them how to sell shit. Now, on the one hand, this is fantastic news because this has been my dream for like five years. However, as with most dreams, they end up materializing in ways that you did not expect. Allah says in the Quran, Like if you go to the Middle East, like out here, you'll have exit signs on doors. So as a security guard, I make sure those signs are working and in the right place and not pointed in the right direction. And like the kids from 301 didn't come out with fucking baseball bats again, high on crack or something, and smash the place up, including exit signs, which are very important. Because in the case of a fire, which are actually a constant source of nuisance in the known world. There's f building fires going on right now with people trapped indoors, dying, and jumping out windows and all this shit as we speak. It's possible that something like this will happen this week in Toronto. It's possible people could die. My job would be to prevent these kinds of things, basically. Uh, the whole thing of uh, security is like uh, insurance, but it's active insurance. Insurance is, is like, we'll give you money if something bad happens. Security is like, we'll give you recourse, or rather, we'll offset something bad happening. We'll make sure there's plans in place, all the technology is working, the signs are right, the doors are unlocked when they need to be, the mag locks are back on, and all this kind of stuff, the lifts are working, so that in case of an emergency, which in the life, if you take an average building, average building probably sees, I mean, 57, who knows? major emergencies throughout the course of its life major like life-threatening okay not just some lady's pooch is stuck in the goddamn lift because she didn't have him on the leash to begin with i'm not talking about that kind of stuff dear viewer you see the problem with these videos is that it's scattershot right so we're going right next to the don valley trail eh oh well this is the don valley trail right next to don valley parkway now you tell me if you can see the traffic out there what would you rather be doing right now? Biking, getting... Biking, getting some exercise? Or gridlock? Total fucking gridlock. If, if it's during the week and during the day, as in a weekday in Toronto, part of the city is in constant gridlock. That gridlock like these traffic, like they have things called intelligent traffic management, ITS. Because I come from a software background. And I also sold government contracts or whatever that did ITS. Essentially, uh, smart technology for street lights and all this shit, right? And, and moreover, from a high level perspective, basically planning, planning the flow of traffic. Now, Traffic planning experts, okay, basically what they do or what they should do, what they should be doing is worrying not so much about the flow of traffic. The flow of traffic is going to happen. Like water, like people, traffic follows the path of least resistance. Your job, so in order to get back to Bloor Street, now I got to get up on Girard Street. Right, go all the way up this crap and, and obviously drop my phone and all this nonsense, not to mention the rain or the fact that I haven't said nothing about atheism apart from the fact that it's stupid because you can't disprove God, so there's no such thing as an atheist. Right? You'll be the best you'll come up with is some stupid thing like, well, can you prove that there's not a pink teapot flying around Mars? Or that there's an, a spaghetti headed monster. Okay, so the, the rationale behind that one is there's no reason to believe in a tea pink, tea, pink teapot flying around Mars. Now, that's not to say you can't discount such a thing. As far as I'm concerned, there is a pink teapot flying around Mars. You might call it imaginary. I might say it's reality. You might call me deluded. I'll say it's a matter of perspective and we'll just go back and forth. Hey, I'll take your fucking position and I'll show you how... Uh, 
untenable it is uh, to me. Make sense? Atheist is just a skeptic. There's no such thing as atheism. Atheist is just a skeptic. Atheism is simply about questioning everything and, and coming forth with nothing in response. Where did everything come from? Don't know, may never know, can't know, won't know, don't know, may never know. Like, we think we're so smart that one day we're gonna have figured everything out. I got a news flash for anyone who thinks that. A, you're out to lunch. B, this bike is not coming up these steps without some serious fucking chug -a -lug. Uh, But thankfully, this is Toronto. So you got these little ramps on the side of the stairs. And of course, God is great. It's working out. Guys, where there is a will, there is a way. And right there is another proof of God. Anyway, so atheism, monotheism, monogamy. Intelligent systems or smart traffic, whatever, who gives a shit? My point was that you want to be healthy or do you want to be stuck in a box your whole life? Get out, get on a bike, go visit some people. So, uh, monogamy is marrying one person or belief that you're allowed to or should marry one person at a time. If Islam believes in polygamy. And in fact, it's actually pertaining to specifically wives. So you've got a thing called polyandry, which is having multiple husbands. Uh, polygamy and which Islam does not allow uh, for what it's worth polygamy basically is having multiple wives okay transit ticket always useful in case you need to jump on a bus and pretend that you got the wrong ticket <laughs> guys this is Toronto you got to do what you got to do to survive right eh? and you got to do it well right a, because you might as well, and B, because if you don't do it well, you're not going to get the job or the babe or whatever it is you're looking for. Hey, give us a wave for YouTube. Give us a wave for YouTube. Come on. Lovely umbrella, man. That umbrella, I want to buy that from you. Yeah, I'm really nice. It's so nice. I got it in a renovation. It looks like one of those things at a cafe when you're like oh, out man. in the cafe and you put the thing in the middle of the... Uh, it's oh, awesome. Table? You're such a sweet guy. Thanks right for stopping down. and saying hi, eh? A lot of people say, hey, don't film me and all this shit, eh? Yeah, hey. I'm just having fun, eh? Why not? <laughs> True cannot, man. Thank you. God bless you, man. You see, that's the kind of stuff I love. A true cannot. And he waved, he stopped, he chatted, he would have chatted some more. Because he was a real person. And he treated me like a real person. And that's how real people interact. Average person in Toronto, or in most developed countries, it's like, fuck, is this guy trying to rob me? Or is he an insurance, a, <laughs> a wayward insurance salesman trying to pitch me on some fucking life policy? Guys, polygamy and polytheism, same, same word poly, right? Polly wants a cracker. I think I should get off her fur. I think she wants some water. To pull out the blowtorch. Okay, so we're, this is uh, what I call Gerard Park. You'll see people with their dogs. And that's cool. It's fucking cool. Like, you don't see shit like this if you're in a car the whole time is my point. Like, I know Toronto better than most folks. I dare say, but, but in my own way, in my own way, I know Toronto, Toronto better than like anyone, all right? Anyone that I know. Okay, how about that? That's a great that's a great statement. I know Toronto better than anyone I know. It's possible I know the odd realtor who knows more of Toronto in certain aspects. Because obviously when you drive around you visit neighborhoods. When you bike and walk around, you explore neighborhoods, right? Like seeing different neighborhoods as car. And 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 knowing the ins and outs of the city and where to go and where the babes hang out and where to get the best ice cream and spaghetti and coffee and movies and free fucking art and all this shit that's me if you come to toronto please let me know and i'll make sure it's the best time of your life frankly unless you're a snowboarder <laughs> unless you want to start bus surfing and and uh sub surfing okay now we got two options to get into the top once we're at the top of this fucking hill 
our journey is basically done because that's the last haul. But I've gotten more exercise today just driving around. And I went to job interview, obviously. And I got more exercise today. Keep on cycling, cyclo. Riff, riff. So I got, more, I got more done today in terms of physical workout than most people get in a month, basically. If, if not fucking several months. I mean, does that make me better? No. Does it make me smarter? Yeah. Sure, it makes me smarter and healthier. And I got better blood flow, metabolism, all this kind of shit. And you know what? Chicks dig it. Why? Because I got endorphins. Why? Because I got testosterone. Why? Because I got adrenaline. Right? It's not just about... Okay, guys, here's the thing with working out. You need to get to a point where you enjoy working out. And once you get to that point, I like to say that not exercising for an exerciser is harder or as hard as exercising is for a non-exerciser. I'm so fucking pooped right now. All right, I'm going to finish off this fucking video. 16 minutes. I'm trying to keep under 15 or half an hour or whatever. Okay, so. Two gods, there's no word for. Poly is many. Polytheism, belief in many gods, or that there could be or are many gods, whatever. Monotheism, one god. Theism, god or gods. The problem with atheism is that the way it should be defined is in terms of, it should be agnosticism, essentially. It means that I am, this whole discussion doesn't pertain to me at all. Like, there's nothing that I see or smell or touch or feel or whatever, apart from obviously the whole universe, but let's not even go into that direction. Um, I don't know about God and I don't care about God. I am agnostic to that whole thing. It's like saying there's morality, then there's amorality, then there's immorality. Atheism is wrong because, well, the standard definition is that person doesn't believe in God. It's not that he believes or doesn't believe in God. The question to him is irrelevant. Maybe I'm defining atheism right now. I'm, I'm trying to say it's stupid because, I mean, here's the thing. You can't disprove God. So to say that atheism believe, is belief in not, in not, not, believe, not believing in God... Well, let's put it this way. Atheism would be, it's not that you believe there's no God, it's that you don't believe in God. Jam. I just solved the problem for those fuckers myself. My damn atheist friends, if you're watching this, you should be happy about people like me. I'm an earnest seeker of the truth, man. I'm not out there to try and preach and convert you into anything other than agnostic because to me the existence of God is self-evident and the most important question in the world. And if I'm wrong, I want to know about it and therefore I'll rattle your fucking cage and I'll call you a crack whore or whatever if you start slagging me off. But on the other hand, if you want to approach it like a gentleman or a lady, I'm happy to Skype or talk about it. Unfortunately, on Twitter, you're limited to 140 characters. Anyway, I've rambled on enough. This is so stupid. I hope you guys visit Toronto at the very least. Signing out for now, Zidey boy. Over and out, 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 out. out. <coughs>